Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Trisha and I am back with another video. And y'all, let me just get into it, okay? I'm so frustrated with these high ass prices. Gas is going up, groceries is going up. Like everything is going freaking up. And I'm just so agitated and annoyed by that shit because it's like, Y'all want us to work our asses off and kill ourselves to make a living. Like, and everything is going up. Y'all don't want to give us a raise. You know, people still wondering where they raise is at. They don't want to give people food stamps because they claim people make too much money. Like, bitch, I wish I could get some fucking food stamps. Like, because I need them. Like, real talk. I'm like... Baby, I have to go take my change and cash my change in. I have $14 worth of change, y'all. And I have to go pick up some milk and eggs and cheese and stuff like that because I don't get paid till Thursday. And my husband don't get paid till tomorrow and Friday. So, like, we kind of have to go. I have to go, you know, kind of. Look, it's a struggle out here. For real, for real. Like, you trying to save money, but shit happens. And it's just a lot. And then you waiting on payday, like, waiting on payday, waiting on payday, waiting on payday. Shit happens in between waiting on getting paid and, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to try to put up something because my husband tried to put up stuff. But it's just, it's a struggle, y'all. But I want to do this little quick haul real quick and then have a little chit-chat about these prices, like, being ridiculous. But like okay so i went and bought some milk y'all because we're out of milk this milk was a dollar 79 it was originally two something i think but it's a dollar 79 and tell me why i got one percent milk i'm so I'm so frustrated. I didn't even see that. That's why it's a dollar seventy nine because it's fucking one percent. Anyways, I got some cheese, some shredded cheese. I got some evaporated milk because my coworker said using evaporated milk and oat meal is real good instead of using regular milk. So I'm gonna try this evaporated milk. Um, I wonder if I could bring that milk back and get a different kind, but I probably won't even have enough for it. Anyways. So the last thing I picked up was some eggs, some medium eggs. These were, how much these eggs was? These eggs was two dollars and 49 cent y'all two dollars and 49 cent for an 18 count eight these were originally a dollar something like a dollar 49 they didn't jump up for real for real like when i was looking at the eggs i was like are you serious these eggs there is like not one dollar something eggs all the eggs is two dollars and up and I'm like, are you serious? I bought, I also got some um, red lobster cheddar biscuits. This is what I got the cheese for um, because I'm probably going to make some, I have some um, like T-bone steaks in there. So I was going to put my steaks in the oven and then these was going to be like the biscuit breads to go with it or whatever. So um, I also picked up some plastic wrap. I got this from the Dollar Tree, y'all. Now, the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. Change your name. Please change your name because I understand. Okay, 25 cents for some people is probably not a big deal. But when you go in there with like 4 or $5, them 25 cents adds up. So now you're in there instead of doing $1, $2, you're doing, okay, $1.25. A dollar twenty-five, so that's two fifty. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro. And then on top of having to pay the taxes, I went in there and I bought three things. 
um well i didn't buy three things i was going to buy three things but the total came out to be four dollars and six cents when it was going to originally be well when it should originally be three dollars and some change that junk was four dollars for three things in the dollar tree and i was like i'm like is that what the tax is and she was like yeah i'm like god damn because this used to just be this would have been three dollars if i would have got the other thing that i was gonna get i had to put it back because i only had three dollars in like a few chain a few cents or whatever so i had to put it back like bro but anyways i bought plastic wrap because i'm gonna wrap this around my stomach area because when i wear my race trainer my race trainer gets all the top part of my stomach and some of the bottom part but since i had like children and then i had a c-section i'm gonna wrap the um plastic wrap mostly around the bottom part so i can get rid of this muffin top that's what you call it muffin top or whatever just to like flatten it a little bit or whatever i'm probably not going to be able to get rid of it because it's from me having two kids and then having a c-section or whatever so i'm probably not going to be able to get rid of it but i'm still going to use it and try it um so the last thing i had picked up was these two jot envelopes i bought these envelopes because i have this little card and like um jewelry set that i want to send to my um bible study teacher it was for mother's day but um i didn't get it out in time because i'm always working or i'm always busy and so i didn't get it out in time but i'm about to send it and another reason i had put it in the mail yesterday but i had put the wrong i had wrote it the wrong way i had put my name um down here and then her name up here when my name is supposed to be up here and then the recipient's name is supposed to be down here so i messed that up so they didn't take it they left it in the mailbox so i'm gonna fix it today and i'm gonna have it sent off today um i have found this little cute like jewelry set in the dollar tree it was um it was god's prayer um so let me see because we're in um matthew right now and um i had wrapped it up in like this little set or whatever but it's god's prayer and it says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed by thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And that is God's prayer. And that is the prayer that everybody well she said that's the prayer that everybody really should be praying because that's god's prayer that's how the prayer should have been but you know everybody prays differently you know what i'm saying as long as you pray to god and open up your heart and let him in and stuff like that you know you pray you pray he doesn't really care how you pray to him you know what i'm saying as long as you just pray to him and open up your open up your heart to let him in and stuff like that so I meet with her tomorrow. We meet on on FaceTime. So I, we FaceTime every Wednesday unless we're not doing something because sometimes we get busy, you know, being a mom and a wife and working, we both get busy sometimes. So, but we meet for the most part every Wednesday. And I really need that because I really, you really need Jesus in your life every day. You know what I'm saying? Just to get through your day or to get through your week or to just get through life in general. You always need Jesus. Jesus needs to come first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? Because he provides everything. He gets you through everything. You know, you can talk to him about anything and everything. He always forgives you. He always listens to you. He's always there for you. You know what I'm saying? So there shouldn't be a day where you do not try to talk to your Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's not asking for nothing, just to talk to him, you know, let him know that you, you know, acknowledge him, that you love him and stuff like that. Um, I also go to church on Sundays, me and my kids. So Bible study is for me um, and my Bible study teacher. We meet in the morning on Wednesdays. After I drop my kids off, we meet around like nine o'clock to like 930. 
Um, and then Sundays is when I go to church with my children and stuff like that. And they um, have their little children section and stuff. And then we, the adults have their section. So, you know, I try to incorporate... I don't want to say try. Try is like a really weird word when you're trying when you're attaching God to it. But I do try to incorporate Jesus every day all the time in my life, you know. Um I really need to do it more than what I'm doing, honestly. Um you know, because I noticed that when you when I don't you know, have his presence or when someone is not talking to me about him and stuff like that, I kind of just get into a place where I feel depressed or I feel lonely, you know, I feel like I can't make it, you know, I start become a little evil, um, and no, no ma'am, I need Jesus in my life, um, all the time, every day, so, you know, I, I really do try to make him a part of my life, of my family's life, you know, he comes first, you know, so, but with that being said, y'all, um, that's just basically what I want to talk about. But anyways, back to these prices going up, gas going up, food going up, everything is going up and it's so frustrating and it's so just annoying. So like, I recently just saw that it's like basically $5 a gallon, almost $5 a gallon. It's back at $4, but I haven't been noticing it because I've been having a full tank of gas. So like when I have a full tank of gas, baby, I'm not worried about looking at gas prices or whatever. Once I get to the half mark, I'm looking and I'm like, when did gas go up for, to $4 again? So I'm like, when did gas go up again? It was just like at three something and now it's jumped up to like four, almost five dollars. So I'm like, when did gas prices go up? But having a full tank, I was not paying attention to gas prices. But anyways, now I'm back paying attention to gas prices because I'm at a half a tank. But once I get back full, I'm not going to worry about it again. But <laughs> yeah, but prices are going up, y'all. And it's ridiculous. Like it is like you're scrapping, scraping pennies together to buy a decent meal buying the necessities that you need it's really hard it's really a struggle and i just feel like you know we're all going through this you know what i'm saying like i just feel like they should get everybody stamps like everybody should get food stamps that's how i feel like fuck it like give everybody food stamps because bitch we are struggling out here okay like i don't care like we struggling um but anyways y'all I just wanted to come on here and say what's up and stuff like that and just have a little rant about the prices because y'all like bro it's ridiculous like it really is ridiculous everything is going freaking up like everything going up food like i know i keep saying it but like it's just ridiculous because you used to see prices and they didn't used to be this high and now it's like damn like i can't even buy a freaking bag of chips because a bag of chips is down there two dollars almost three dollars like if you throw in the tax it's almost three dollars round that shit off you know what i'm saying so it's like damn you can't buy nothing what else i saw that was freaking high that was like that i never seen that high before it was something else i've seen that was high and i never seen that high before i don't know what it was in the store but it was high and i'm like why is this damn near two dollars when it has never been two dollars you know but the economy is just it's getting worse by the minute that's how i feel it's getting worse by the minute prices going up every single day you know what I'm saying? When I was at Walmart, people would come in there and be like, this price used to be this. And now it jumped up overnight. And I would be like, yeah, it jumped up overnight. Prices jump up overnight. Prices jump up every second, you know, throughout the damn day. And it's ridiculous. It really is. Like, what are we trying to do? Like, are we trying to, like, keep the economy going, keep the world going? What is we really trying to do? Why is these prices going up so tremendously you know what i'm saying for what reason are these prices going up what is what is we like trying to pay you know what i'm saying like what is y'all what is the world the government trying to accomplish by raising these prices up like this like do y'all like where's the money what like what for what 
for what? I know there's a shortage, so that's the reason why y'all want to raise prices because there's a shortage. Because I heard there's a shortage, so that means raise prices because there's a shortage. So that means you'll buy lesser of that product because it's a shortage. So you'll buy lesser of that product so they can get more product in stock. I don't know. I just be thinking about shit. But anyways, y'all, it is 1048. I'm about to wash these little bit of dishes that I had, which I'm so annoyed because I just feel like my husband could have washed them. You know what I'm saying? But like, y'all, just because you're a mom and a wife, don't give you the freaking... I don't feel like you should be a 50 mom. Like, if you love washing dishes, washing clothes, cleaning up the house, doing all this other stuff, and all of that, going to work, and la da 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 running through flowers and stuff, that is fine with me. Do you, boo. But being a working mom, a, a wife, I get tired. Like, and like, these few bit of dishes could have been washed when my husband got off work or whatever. You've been up. You could have washed those little bit of few dishes and I just begin like, ugh. sometimes men clean when they want to clean. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, no, you need to clean like consistently. You know what I'm saying? Because I clean consistently and then I get tired of him saying like, well, you've been home all day. So now, cause now, cause he said that one day and I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. I know where this is going now. I know where this is going now because I was working two jobs. I was working at Walmart and I was working at um, my caregiving job and I'm like, so I was tired. So he would like do, you know, he would clean up because I was working two jobs and stuff like that. So he was cleaning up and everything like that. But now that I'm down to one job, oh baby, you at home every all day now. You can do this. You can do that. I'm like, bro, I'm still getting tired. I still get tired. You feel me? I still like, I be working my ass off at work. Lifting them people ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? Being on my feet for eight hours, literally being on my feet for eight hours. I might get, you get like a 30 minute break. You get like a few seconds sit downs, you know, a few minutes sit downs. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you're on your feet constantly for eight damn hours. Like I'm tired. And then I have to come home, clean the house and all this other stuff tend to kids get up at 6 45 to get the kids off to school like baby a bitch be tired you know what i'm saying like i really be tired like i be drained and i don't be wanting to do shit i really don't want to do these dishes but i need to do them in order for me to cook it is 10 51 i might even call my boss and be like ma'am i'm about to be a few minutes late because like bro i'm so glad that i'm off wednesday no i'm off thursday because you get you work four days on and then you're two days off and then your days rotate so basically you work four days and then you off two days and then you work another four days and you off that two days so i'm i like i like how my days rotate instead of having a set schedule and these are your two days off and then these are the days you work no i like having my schedule rotate you feel me and let me tell y'all my bosses are awesome like for real if you need to be off they let you off if you need to come in late they let you come in late you know how some jobs be like salty about you coming in late or they be like um you get like a point if you come in late or stuff like that like they don't understand that you a mom and you gotta do all this other shit you know what i'm saying that's what i love about working having women bosses that's what i have women bosses and i have women bosses too at walmart but like baby no the this one is the dealio like yeah i love this one but anyways yeah so i'm about to clean this house up and I'll probably not clean it up because i'm off thursday so i'll probably clean it up thursday but i'm just gonna straighten up because i do a lot of straighten up but when i'm off i do a lot of cleaning up sometimes if i'm not too tired but i only have that one day off because i took wednesday on so i really only have one day off this week um yeah so oh i don't know how this gonna work <laughs> i have to see um i was trying to work a whole week next week but i don't think it's gonna work because maybe i'll be tired and i need my two days off like some people will work seven days 14 days a whole month straight without having no days off and i just be like how do you do it because baby i'm sorry like i understand things are high 
we got stuff to pay, but I need two days off. I need to recuperate my mind, body, soul, and spirit for real. Cause who Jesus. Anyways, all right, y'all. So I'm about to just clean up. Like I said, try to cook something. Um, eat because that's what I bought them eggs for. Cause I'm about to make me an egg, bacon, sausage, burrito. And yeah. So anyways, I'll see y'all in my next video and y'all have a wonderful day. So this is...